I think we have this continuing tug of war, right, uh, with really fantastic fundamentals, uh, you know, near-term fundamentals, especially in the United States. Uh, in terms of earnings, um, we're going to have another blowout earnings season. Um, when all is said and done, it could be 24% year-on-year, and it'll definitely be more than 20%. Uh, and the good first half that we've had in earnings means full-year earnings are going to be up something like uh, 22%. Uh, we get GDP this week, and you know that's going to be a, another very strong number. But we've got this continuing uh, dark cloud over our head in terms of the escalating trade tensions, and um, I think that's something that's keeping the market in this range that Mike Santoli talked about um, earlier. Mm -hmm. But assuming that those trade tensions aren't playing out in the earnings that we've seen so far. Certainly not yet. And you know, if you just run some of the numbers with that kind of earnings growth, we're only trading at 17 times 2018. So you know, even if we only get halfway to the multiple we are now by the end of the year, you still have about 10 percent upside in equity markets. The, the, the trade tensions, Simeon, of course, have led to some of the domestic companies doing better in, uh, of recent months. Does that continue, particularly when we look at the small caps? I think there is an opportunity there. So right now, small caps are trading at a, about a 25 percent price to book discount to large caps. They usually get to parity before that run quits. But the headwind there is Fed funds. Small caps are highly leveraged, so there is sensitivity to the short end of the yield curve. So a little bit of a rotation towards less leveraged and more quality names in small cap may help that trade. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.